What's up, guys? It's Machete Panda here, and I am back. I wanted to talk to you about mods and specifically about my favorite mods. Mods you must have. Mods you should have. They're good mods. Without further ado, um, I have a lot of mods installed, as you can see. Uh, a great many mods installed. But there's a few that I think you should really, really should have. Um, this is a cool mod right here. This allows you to uh, control various aspects of your saved game, like your the money amounts, the uh, the ability to lift things that are impossibly heavy, like a whole tractor, um, jump and run fast, uh, all kinds of other issues, spawn objects so that you can do testing. Very important when you're exploring, um, playing with uh, other other new equipment. <clears throat> Lumberjack mod. Uh, I haven't really used too many features in this. The only thing I used is super strength in order to, like, if your tractor goes off and, you know, there's weird physics in the game. And if your tractor goes flying off in, a, in between a couple buildings that it can't get out of, you can lift it up and move it out of the way. Another must-have mod is the auto loader. The auto loader allows you to certain vehicles uh, have the ability to automatically load things like pallets. So... I like this because when you pull a a trailer up to a building, one of the one of the factories or or uh, one of the shops that produce pallets, it, they they would they would normally just automatically load. Like the person would come in and they would load it onto the 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 tractor for you. Um, however, in this game, you have to like meticulously pick up each pallet. And load it onto the machine yourself. Um, that's not so bad if it wasn't for the fact that the pallets get stuck on the forks. Um, they don't pull off easily. Uh, sometimes they get partially stuck and then they pull off co uh, cockeyed or slanted slightly. So um, that's why I think auto loader is important. This is a simulation, but this is also a game. So it should be fun. And working with fidgety pallets is not fun. This is another great one. <clears throat> this is a plow, um, so you can create fields with it. And it's wide and it's straight. All the plows that come in the default ga game are skewed. They go at an angle, um, which makes it very difficult to control. Um, but this one's nice and straight. Uh, that's one that I also like. This is another great one right here. This allows you to have um, piggyback uh, tractor trailers. Um, and they go up to a hundred, uh, one hundred thousand liter capacity. So you can pull one of these trailers into your field. You can leave it there. Um, you don't need to constantly be going back and forth between the field and your silo. Um, you can load up almost an entire field into one of these trailers. So that's another great feature right there. And. Here's some more auto loaders. So you'll see the little AL symbol. Those are the auto loaders. Um, so you want to keep your eye out for that. Uh, anything that ha is done by Giant Studio, I recommend uh, loading into this game. So um, what was done by Giant Studio? Here's one. This John Deere uh, was done by Giant Studio. It's a freebie. Just load it. If you have access to them, just load them. Um, Anything that's a five star is also a must have. So if it's got five stars, um, you just want to load it in there. Uh, it's going to be really useful. I don't put anything in that's less than four and a half stars because it drastically drops off at that point. <clears throat> Another must have that I find very useful, um, this baler package with these lizard uh, arms. Um, they basically swoop all of your hay um, into a nice row without having to use a wind rower. And then it goes right into the baler. The baler does what the baler always does. Um, the AGI pack is another great one. It's got many different styles of, um, of silos. Um, that is also a giant studio uh, one as well. 
Another must have the fermenting silos. The fermenting silos. The one thing that drives me crazy is that all of the fermenting is the in in the default program is with bunkers. Pain in the neck. You gotta unload them into the bunker. You gotta spread it out. You gotta compact it. In the U.S. anyway, we have silos, and you can just load your your hay or, or your uh, your grass up into uh, one of these fermenting silos, and just oh, they will compact it, do the weight, and over time um, produce silage. So um, I love this pack right here; uh, really useful. <clears throat> uh, another great pack is this one. So if you have gigantic big fields. Uh, this cedar is absolutely awesome. Um, you can plant huge rows. You can connect um, rollers to the back of it. You can connect other equipment to the back of it. So you can plant and roll uh, with this one as well. So that's another great one to have. Um, oh, is this my favorite? And this is not the one. So one of these, let me find this, the John Deere that I really love. This one, here it is, the John Deere S700 series. It holds 27,000 liters. So you can just set an AI to run and he'll just go through the field for what seems like days before this thing needs to be unloaded. Um, so that's another great one. <clears throat> and I just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. This one, here it is, this flatbed, is an autoloader flatbed it doesn't require the autoloader plug-in and just as you drive along it just starts loading the hay in and i'm going to show you all these uh of course so uh gps steering this is another nice one you can create grids and then it will automatically guide your tractor along those grids i highly recommend that and i believe that's it Oh, collect straw. This was another great one. The collect straw. So you get those missions to to harvest wheat. And one of the the outcomes of harvesting wheat is that you can do uh, straw. Now, normally you can't collect that straw, which is silly because I've never seen a collect straw um, mission. Uh, none of the missions have ever required you to make a row of straw. Um, so the AI isn't using the straw. So why can't I come back to the field and collect that straw and just sell it or store it and sell later? Um, and this allows you to do that. So you can go through a whole field, collect all the straw back up, come back around, collect it all up and uh, store it for later. Um, oh, I almost forgot about headers. So there's a couple nice headers in here. They're nice and big. Uh, this is the 716 C is a really nice size header. Uh, another header pack is right here. This is another nice big header for your um, for your grains. So, and that is it. I've got a lot of other mods on here. We can go over them some other time, but they're really useful. Let's go into the game now, and let me show you what what it's like. So we're in the game now. Let's take a look at some of these mods. I have two of them right here. Um, this one is that large harvester. All right, and this one is that that uh, baler with a windrower attachment. Um, this harvester is located under harvesters. You scroll all the way past the giant studios one and you get to your mods. And I believe it is this one right here. So this, I love this harvester. This is my favorite harvester because you can just set the AI up to harvest and you can just leave him alone in the field. He won't bother you to empty his tank for a while and then you can empty the tank later. But if we go in here, there's several configurations. Um, so right now it's on this factory foldable uh, extension, but you can switch it over to this one. And as you can see, that increased the amount of storage capacity we have by quite a bit. Uh, the wheel setup, I prefer the tracks in. So that's kind of what I like. Um, the tracks in for the for the uh, I call it the flute, but technically it's the agaron. Um, the pipe 
I like the long pipe that folds. And then you got a bunch of other things. So you can actually put numbers on it. This is, I love this. I hope Giant Studio does this for all of them. Um, right, but right now it's only in this mod that this, this person did. Uh, you can put numbering on the side. So I can do number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, so on and so forth. So if you're playing a multiplayer game, you can say, hey guys, can you take Harvester 5 out? or you're assigned Harvester 3, or so on and so forth, if you guys are doing a, a co-op farm. Um, the GPS mod, uh, that's another great mod. Um, I don't do it on the harvesters, but I do do it on the tractors. Um, just allows you to, to do that. Um, I also do a real rear hitch on here, center real rear hitch. So that's good. All right, great. And um, then they've got the headers. So there's a bunch of headers. Uh, and it's not necessarily just for this, but there's a bunch of headers that I downloaded here. So you got piles of headers, but um, they are just awesome headers. They're huge headers. This one is the biggest. This is the one I have on right now, the HD45X. Um, to go with that header, you also need some header trailers. And the largest 40, the trailer, 45 trailer works with it. And I actually like to uh, change the chassis color to John Deere, change the extension color to Jet Black and the yellow Deere. So it looks like it's part of the John Deere package. I just <laughs> think it looks cool um, when they're all combined together. So, But this is it. Um, I'm going to get in here and we're going to run it. So start running it. Look at the size of that row. That is awesome. That saves a lot of time. Let our guy go through and do that. Looks good. And if I go back into it and we sit in the cab, you can see it's got a nice little layout, very fun. And you can look behind you and you can see it filling up ever so slowly. So that said, we'll switch over to this one. This is the class uh, baler with a lizard extension. So if we go into the shop here and we go down to Baylor's, they'll be in here and here they all are. I don't know why this one is so cheap. They all run at the same speed. They're all equally capable. So I'm, I don't know why it's, it's so cheap, so much cheaper than the rest. That's, I guess it's not that much cheaper, but still, so, but that's the one that I, that I grabbed. And if we get in our tractor here, we can actually come along. And if we start the baler up, you can see the, the arm spinning. And I don't have to be directly at the center of the line. I can drive alongside the side of it and collect. And then it just drops them out which is fun and fantastic. So just makes life easier. So that is that one. You've got your nice bales all over the field, rearing to go. Uh, the next one I wanna do, <clears throat> the next one I'd like to do uh, is most likely gonna be the truck. Um, and specifically, well, let's start off with these trucks. So we'll do one of these trucks. Um, I'm just going to do this one. They're both basically the same as far as function. And size is a little different. You know, this one's a little bit bigger. We'll do the slightly larger one. But um, again, you have multiple color choices here. Um, if you're a deer geek, you can try and get it to look more like John Deere. Unfortunately, they don't let you change these to, ye <laughs> to yellow. Um, and I'd like to see this go to green, though. But yeah. Uh, so that's that. And you, again, you have the GPS is on everything. Um, so let's just buy the default one and let's go to the shop to take a look at it. There we go. And there she is. So this is again, use the auto loader. So if we start driving and we seriously, panicky drivers i hate panicky drivers i hate pan slamming their brakes on in front of you like come on i wasn't even going to hit you but auto loader on 
And oh wait, did I have the wrong size? Yeah. So as you can see up in the um, let me just switch cameras for you because you can't see. There we go. So in the upper left, you can see that there's the uh, controls Z. So right now it's on loading Euro palettes. So if I just hit Z again until I get to bales, we want 240 bales because that's what we've got, square bales, 240 square bales. And now enable it. So now it should start loading these bales. Why is it not loading these bales? Okay, so these are 220 bales. I thought these were 240 bales, but these are 220 bales. But as you can see, you just drive around and it'll load the bales right on for you. The only thing I don't like about this is you don't have to have this auto loader. You don't have to have a um, a forklift. So it's I don't like that part because you lose that immersion. And not that you would use the forklift, but you should have to have a forklift in order to oops in order to bail these. So load these onto the baler. So, and then it does pallets and it does all kinds of other things, but it's just a small little truck to get you going um, on your farm, um, just to keep things going. The cab looks like this. It's a nice little cab, pretty cool. So next one we wanna do, uh, all right, next one I wanna do is another bale loader. So, um, but for this one, we're going to need, let's do the tractor trailer now. So we're going to do the tractor trailer and you have all kinds of options. You can put a nice, big, powerful engine in there. Um, you can change the coatings, your exhaust stacks. Those look pretty cool. Um, mud guards, you have all kinds of mud guard options, uh, tinted windows. I mean, this thing's just loaded with options and capabilities and, uh, see here uh yeah then we can just kind of john deerify it chassis color not chassis color should be black matte black and then we'll do um see that or we can make it a class do class uh, so class, what would the class main color be? I guess a class main color might be the green, class green. Where is class green? Oh, maybe they don't have class in here. Well, anyway, the chassis color would be like the, yeah, they don't have it in here. You get the picture. You can adjust this thing quite a bit. Uh, let's buy that. So we're gonna take that puppy. And the reason we're gonna take that puppy is because we're gonna get something else that's pretty cool. And uh, it's a baler. Uh, it's a bale loader, loader, excuse me, bale loader. So you see some of these bale loaders have the auto load. It does the same thing as the truck, only it's now in a trailer format. But I like this one right here. And the reason I like this one, the big reason I like this one is that you can train it. All right, so first of all, you wanna turn on auto load. I guess you have to pick ahead of time what you want. Square 220s and 240s, that's great, we'll do that. Mm, attachers, there we go. This is what I like about it. So you can have the trailer hitch attachment and we can now make this into a train if we wanted to. All right, and to make it into a train, we will need to grab one of the dollies here. I've been thinking about downloading some more dollies, but. And if we get back over to the truck, there's that truck, see that? And just going to attach attach it to this trailer. 
And we are going to just do a time skip and I'll attach these other ones. All right, guys, so this is it. How cool is that? We've got the trailer, dolly, trailer, dolly, trailer. So it looks really cool. We've got a road train now. That looks awesome. Um, now, first things first, we got to turn it on. So we've got to press B. It says operating position. This is not using the auto loader plugin. It has it's made its own, it's got its own loader uh, in it. So um, you don't need the auto loader plugin to get this one to work. The other ones you do need the auto loader program for them to work. So I'm gonna turn that on. So it is now in operating position. And if I just drive by these, you'll see that they will stack as I drive by them. Yeah. And then back to transport position. Let's go to the next one. And let's turn it into operating position and load that one up now. So number one, it's really, 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 really helpful, obviously. So number two, um, it looks cool. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to spawn more hay here. A lot more hay. Straw, excuse me. Um, yeah, and then uh, transport position, then go to the next one. Nice. So there we go. And now we've got them all loaded. Now, I wish it did do the auto loader because one of the things I like about the auto loader, oh, we didn't catch some of those. The middle one didn't catch some of them. But um, one of the things I like about the auto loader, and I kind of wish it did do the auto loader because um, the great thing about that auto loader is that. Uh, it does the straps. So you can see the auto loader here in front of me, this one right here. The auto loader leverages the straps. I just like the immersion. Um, oh, but but it's not immersive to just have it automatically appear on the back. Well, I know, it's also a game. But this one doesn't use the straps. So it's just like holding these in place. Um, so I really kind of wish that this guy would make it work with the auto loader, whoever made that, but there we go. So. I guess you can you can always come here and we can go to uh, unload the bales. So you unload the bales and you say unload bales here. Now they're now loose. So now we can come in and we can put the straps on. So I guess you can always do that to add a little bit to the immersion. But um, yeah. Oh, this one didn't <laughs> land quite right. Um, all right, guys, sorry for the the uh, skip ahead, but uh, I had to fix the bales because the bales were falling off But um, when I was trying to show the tension belt. But there you go. Road train. Pretty nice. All right, the next one I want to show you is that double stacking um, grain cart. So uh, once again, we're going to grab another tractor trailer. Um, I guess we can grab this one. Uh, there's nothing too crazy or special about it, but uh, you know, have some color options, um, design color, uh, mirrors, uh, rim color. Ooh, nice, that looks cool. Uh, oh, can we do uh, New Holland? Yeah, New Holland. Yeah, that looks good too. All right, get get a couple other brands in there. So we're gonna buy that, and we're also gonna buy. The whoop oh, 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 oh. also gonna buy that nice big. This one's my favorite. These are all basically the same in function. The carrying amounts is slightly different for each one, but functionally they're they're some functionally the same. So this one's my favorite because it carries the most. 
Now, there is another one of these that actually carry another 5,000 liters more. So you could get up to uh, 105,000 uh, liters um, if you swap it out for one of the other ones. I think the other one that carries slightly more is, yeah, this one right here. So you could swap the very back out for this one and you would get slightly more increase. But uh, for now, we're just going to stick with that. We're going to go with the super large ones. That's 100 meters, cubic meters. So very cool. Um, got some wheel design options. Um, you know, I don't really care. can't be fussed. Uh, we got a bunch of nice colors here. Um, I wonder if they have a New Holland. New Holland bodywork. There we go. So it's going to match the our New Holland uh, truck now. Um, I don't know what design color is. Oh, yeah. That's like really white that's too white yeah whatever we'll take it um yes we want to buy it all right so let's get into our new holland wherever that is there it is and let's lift this thing up and let's start loading these things so this the, the thing i love about these is that you can stay out in the field for a long time you know you can just, you don't need to have him go back and unload and then come back to the field. You can just keep the harvesters running. So this harvester is full, it appears, because um, he's still running. So we're going to take the cover off and then we are going to load. This harvester holds 27,000. So... There we go. And then once it's full, and thanks to editing magic, it is full. Um, yeah, so that is another cool one. Put the cover back on. And this thing, this, this thing, you can stay out into some very large fields uh, and not have to go carrying your stuff back um, for a while. So um, I really like this, this one for that reason. I'm just going to park it right next to this guy. All right, cool. So the next thing I wanted to show you, mm, 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 mm. didn't mean to go there. I meant to go here. Next thing I want to show you are the buildings, construction. So one of the cool buildings that I like very much. So there's a bunch of building options in here, but the one that I talked with you guys about was the silo, uh, specifically the uh, the fermentation silos. And here they are. So we got Canadian, we've got American. Um, I'm just gonna pick the biggest one and place it. Uh, overlaps with another object. Oh, well, that's not cool. Just drop it right here, there, I don't care. So you can drop your, um, your grass over on this side right here. All right, grass goes in, silage comes out, and then you've got this right here so you can kind of see where it's at as far as fermentation periods. It takes chaff, uh, hay, and grass. So it takes quite a few uh, different options. Uh, it's able to store a total of 840,000 square feet, uh, <laughs> liters, excuse me. And, um, yeah, it's it's great. I really love this. Um, it makes a lot more sense in the bunkers, that's for sure. Uh, all that packing, um, it's just a pain. And I don't need the large bunker holds like two million something uh, liters. Number one, I don't need that much. Um, but number two, it's just such a pain to compact two million liters into a bunker. I mean, you'll just be going back and forth with the compactor for a good 15 minutes to get it compact. And um, for me, it's, like, like I said, it's a balance of it's a it's a simulator, but it's also a game. So that is that. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show were the production. Um, so all kinds of production options here uh, in that production package I showed you. Um, there's like grape processing, which produces some 
uh, items, uh, bakery. There's nothing too special about these. They're just new configurations, new ways of doing uh, the base game. Here's that uh, storage uh, warehouse that I was talking about. Um, yeah, it's not a bit as big of a, a point. Here's some additional selling points, uh, some new things that these selling points take. Um, and these are, I don't know, I think they're pretty cool selling points. Here's that stone selling point, which I haven't used yet. Um, so the greenhouses are standard. They are already in the game. Uh, some wind generators there. And that was that. So um, the new buildings. This is a cool, pretty cool little shed. This little shed comes with the uh, comes with the I believe it's the Iowa map. So this little shed comes with the Iowa map when you download the Iowa map. All right. So the next thing I wanted to show you was the pallets carrying pallet carrying pallets. So I'm just going to take this guy. And since we've been doing all these, I'm going to do case. Oh, Macy Ferguson red looks so nice. But I'm going to do case. I'll do case now because I've I've done like the other brands, so I may as well do case. Um, beige, white, chrome. Hmm. I think I'll do um, just do white for the hubcats. Anyway. <clears throat> Got your these are this is the default one, so you got your real subs, all that. But that's not what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you the auto loader for pallets. So you know this guy right here, but he's not auto loader. He won't automatically load the pallets. This puppy does. So if you get this auto loader, um, we have design colors that we can uh, put it in. Um, all kinds of cool design colors. Change the chassis chassis color. Um, and you want auto loading on and then different designs with that this person obviously had fun doing these so um it's gonna go with case on case and his auto loader on auto load is on and buy that puppy all right and let's go to our new purchase there we go And just gonna hook it up. There's nothing too spectacular about how it looks. It looks just like, you know, the default ones. However, it actually functions very nicely um, loading up pallets. So if we come down here and we'll be right back. I'm gonna put some pallets down the road here. All right, so I got some pallets down over there. Um, loading type, you can see it says uh, Euro pallet. Um, and I have to put it into enable auto load B. So I'm going to hit B, enable auto load. And then it just starts picking up the pallets as you drive by. You can see down below in the controls um, help window, you can see Euro pallets, 12 of 50. And you can actually open up the back door and take a look at what's inside. So there the pallets are sitting inside. Uh, I believe this trailer also takes uh, square bales of hay. So, And then you can actually store these uh, in a shed. So let's go ahead and buy the storage shed that I pointed out earlier. Um, I believe it's under silos. No, 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 no. Sheds, sheds. No, 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 no. Tools. There it is, storage, production storage sheds. So we just drop this puppy down right here. And then we can go over to it. And we can unload it. There's an unloading zone and a pickup zone. So the unloading zone is to the right side if you're facing the shed, and the pickup zone is to the left side. So pull right up to the unloading zone. 
And then we can change sides. U changes sides. We want the left side. The side changing doesn't work. I must have a conflict with another one, uh, another plugin somewhere. I'm just going to swing this guy around so that it unloads on the left side. I don't know why this side changing doesn't work for me. It's probably a conflict with another plugin that I'm not aware of, which is annoying because I have to turn off all the plugins and turn them on one by one. And I'm not going to do that. So, and there, they're all now stored in this shed. We can take a look at this shed and we can see that we have wool, 12,000 liters of wool. And if we had more, we could flip through and get more. The shed holds um, grains as well. So the shed will actually hold uh, pallets of grains too. Um, I think they come out as pallets, um, but and then if we go to the pickup zone, I'm going to leave auto enable auto load. I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to come here. And then we're going to unload the wood, all 12. And as, we, as it unloads, you'll see it appear and disappear because it's automatically going to get picked up by the machine. Bop, 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 bop. It's all. And now you can see Euro pallets 12. I can even open the door and see them inside. There they all are. And now I can go deliver them. Now this shed, like I said, only holds 100 pallets. And this tractor trailer, this trailer holds 50. So I'm actually thinking on one of my other maps, I have the shed. I'm actually thinking it's not worth it. So I might not grab the shed next time. Just have two, two trailers, you know? So um, that is that one. I'm going to park it right here next to these others. Boom. All right. What else do I want to show you? All right. So the next thing I think I'll show you is the final thing will be the cedar, um, the super gigantic cedars. Uh, for that, we're going to need a super gigantic tractor. Um, there's a couple cases over here. Uh, you know, they're all right. Um, then there's some bigger cases over here. So this is the uh, quad track. The other case was a quad track too, but we're going to go ahead and grab this. We are going to give it the upgraded engine. Where did it go? Power shift. Yeah, there we go. Going to give it upgraded engine. Going to give it 36 inch wide wheels. We're going to buy that one. We'll take a look at that one. Bunch of options in there. Nothing too exciting as far as those go. I'm not going to sit there and walk through those options like some other people do. And then we need the cedar. Um, all right. So we want uh, this guy is the 45,000, and this one's the 33. So that we want the 45. We may as well go big or go home, right? It's going to go big. Get the 45, buy that puppy. And then we're going to get, this is a 30 meter wide. It's only 18. I think the 30 meter is the biggest and it is the biggest. So we're going to get the 30 meter wide one. And it also uh, allows you to see directly because it has a, a cultivator um, and a plow on it. I'm going to buy that. Nice. And then we're going to need some seeds. So buy some big bags. We're going to buy some. Buy some seeds. All right, let's get over there. Look at this puppy. It's gigantic. It's a house. This cedar is a house. It's gigantic. And it's made for gigantic fields, which I don't have any in this map. So I'm just going to, we're just going to flip over to this thing finally being hooked up and loaded. All right, we're back. And I wanted to show you its setup. We've got the cedar, we've got the tank. 
and you can actually connect up a roller. I have no clue if this is actually going to work or not. There's no, there's no uh, plugs going to it, but I hooked up a roller um, just to see what would happen. And let's get started. First, I am going to unfold the cedar. Because that's a sensible thing to do. If I don't make it crash first by unfolding it. All right. Now, unfold it. There it goes. Nice. Um, I have this backward. <clears throat> Time of year is it? What can we plant? We can plant canola. All right, guys, I have it hooked up. Let's give it a try. Uh, B, turn on cedar, and there's no way for me to lower the cedar. Oh, there we go. Lower cedar. Oh, all right. So, and this is it. We're now seeding. Look at the gigantic swath on this thing. It's amazing. And the roller's coming along back there. Unfortunately, the roller is a little too short for this gigantic cedar. But uh, still, it gives you an idea of the possibilities here. And if we just stop and jump out, we can take a look at, as you can see, it's growing canola. And back here, it's been rolled. So we're getting a two for one for this. Maybe if you did a slightly smaller one, there's a different size tank in there in the menu as well. So that's also an option. So that's that's uh, it. Um, there's many more mods, many more things I can show you, but I think I'm just going to stop right there. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you like what I showed you. And um, we'll uh, talk again soon. Later. Mm -hmm.